Okay, gang. Okay, gang. So listen, y'all. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to drop this one, all right? All right, y'all. I've been waiting. I had to gather up my energy, all right? And get this together because, God damn, I, we're at it again. We're at it again. Benzino. Femzino. Femzino. Dumbzino. Freaking, I don't even know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I feel like we're about to get a whole bunch of toxicity here. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we're about to get a whole bunch of toxicity. So I'm ready for it. And we're going to hop right into it. I'm not going to waste too much time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know we're going to get right into the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, we exactly what we're here for. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. <laughs> this motherfucker, man. This long set up, will you? No cap. Bitch, you owe me. I'm promoting you right now. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. How long you been promoting this nigga? How long you been actually promoting this nigga? Because you've been talking, like, like y'all have been talking about each other for, for I don't know how long. Like, y'all have been talking about each other for a minute. I'm promoting you right now. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. I don't want to be like this. I don't really want to hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Nope. Oh my. Old men have heart attacks. And I don't want to be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. I would never claim to be no Ravenzino. An 83-year-old fake Pacino. So how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Oh my god. You know what, y'all? You know what, y'all? What the fuck? What the, what the hell am I even doing here, bruh? I'm, I'm taking a lap. Oh my gosh, bro. Day after day, week after week, I hear someone cooking this man. And this shit old as hell. This one old as hell. Getting cooked. What? I would never claim to be no Ray Benzino, an 80 year old three fake Pacino. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! I threw the vape away, bro. I I I, I don't want to be hitting vapes and shit, bro. I said I'm going to slow down, bro. But this is making me want to go walk to the store and grab one. This is the type of shit you do to me, and we got chill, gang. You know men have heart attacks, and I don't want to be responsible for that. So no, we don't. put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. I would never claim to be no Ravenzino, an 83-year-old fake Pacino. So how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Please don't, you'll probably fall with me, and I'll ask the Pope be history. But then again, you finally get your wish, cause you be all over the street like 50 cent <laughs> fucking drunk pussy fuck you chump give me a one on one see if I don't fuck you up try to jump and the rock riders and they cut you up and you put Jada uh, don't, don't say I'm crazy y'all but when he said you be all over the street like 50 cent like I feel like I feel like that's a double I feel like that's a double y'all tell me if I'm wrong you know what I'm saying 50 cent 50 cent actually 50 cent like I, I feel like I feel like that that's a double meaning I don't know. I don't know. And see if I don't fuck you up. Try to jump the rough riders and they cut you up. And you put Jada on a track. That's how much you suck dick in the industry. Swear that you in the streets hustling. You sit behind a fucking desk at the sore spot kissing and begging motherfuckers for guest appearances. And you can't even get the clearances. Cause real lyricists don't even respect you or take you serious. It's not that we don't like you, we hate you, period. Talk okay. about the midlife crisis, damn. Last week you were shaking Obi Trice's hand. Now he's a buster. What the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing 50s ass and asking me what I know about <laughs> indictments. Bite me, bitch, I got two cases. That's the worst person you can be, though, bro. The worst person you can be, bro, is someone who will literally go up and shake someone's hand, bro, and then and behind closed doors on the internet or whatever, just straight up be like, fuck them, all this shit, bro. That person is dangerous, bro. They're weird. They have no morals, bro. I will never rock with some shit like that, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. If someone ever did that shit to me, honestly, like, like, I, like, nah, bro, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> I don't fuck with you at all. Like, and I expect y'all to do the same. And now he's a buster. What the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing fifties, 
his ass and asking me what I know about indictments. Fight me, bitch. I got two cases and probation. Fight me. What okay. do I know about standing in front of a judge like a man ready to take whatever sentence he has? What you know about your wife slicing the wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world? A little girl, and I put that on her when this is all over. I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I don't know shit about no shopping rocks, but what you know about. I would never try to turn her to a star and eat off her. Oh! Oh! That, yo, yo, M is coming crazy, bro. He is coming crazy, bro. What do you know about a wife that slices her wrist right in front of the only thing that you have? Yo, nah, 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 he's wildin', bro. He's wildin'. And then he's talking about he'll never put he'll, he'll never put his nah, nah, bro. Cause Koi, cause of Koi, he'll never do like. Damn, you gotta chill, bro. Damn, you gotta chill, bro. No wonder why this man's sitting there crying in the freaking in the podcast, bro. Look what the hell you got going on, bro. Yeah, you got him crying in the podcast, bro. Nothing seems to work. He done added six motherfuckers to the freaking track, and it still ain't work, bro. He's still probably thinking about this, John. Like, what? When this is all over, I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I gotta run that back. Ready to take whatever sentence he has. What you know about your wife slicing the wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world? A little girl, and I put that on her. When this is all over, I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I don't know shit about no shopping rocks, but what you know about it? Pop shops, rocking spots, where you're the only okay. white boy up in that bitch just ripping. Pressing up your own flyers and your stickers, sticking them bitches up after spending six hours at Kinko's, making copies of your covers of cassette singles. To sell them okay. out the trunk of your tracer Spending your whole paychecks at disc makers What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right You should know what that's like You're half white Vanilla Chill, Nick Oh, my Ooh. Oh, my God, bro If I had a freaking walk counter That joint would be at, like, six right now for those of y'all that said I should get a walk away counter, it would be at like six right now, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. You gotta chill, M. You airing his shit out, bro. You airing his shit out, bro. This is not right, bro. And you know this is only, you know, you know M is the only one who had hands on this shit. He have eight niggas inside the freaking, he have eight people inside of the freaking stew trying to freaking, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Trying to help him on his bars. Like, nah. This straight up. It's personal. <laughs> this shit personal, gang. Nah, bruh. Hold up. Jacks and disc makers. What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right. You should know what that's like. You're half white. Vanilla ice, spill of beans and rice. I'm eating you alive inside. Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put the mic down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right now. Okay. Kill a motherfucker dead. Kill him dead, bitch. Shoot him in the fucking head. Go ahead, bitch. Slap my mom. Slap the fuck out of her. She can't sue you. She wouldn't get a buck out of you because you're broke as fuck. You suck. You're a fuck. He's saying, sue, slap my mom, beat her ass, whatever the hell you want to do, bro. She can't even sue you, bro. She can't get a buck out you, bro. What the hell, bro? That is personal. That's what I'm saying, bro. This is personal, bro. Hell nah. That bitch slap my mom, slap the fuck out of her. She can't sue you. She wouldn't get a buck out of you because you're broke as fuck. You suck. You're a fucking choke. If you was really selling coke, well, then what the fuck you stop for, dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make a lot more money than oh you do my. from rap. You'll never. Oh my god. He just told this man Benzino to go back to selling crack and shit. And if you did was going back to selling crack, why'd you ever stop? Because you would make a lot more money selling crack than you was off rap. And honestly, that is just freaking crazy because of the things that I've been hearing Benzino have said without about M even recently, bro. This bar probably hits to this day. This bar hits to this day. Nah. Nah, this bar did not age at all. This song did not age at all. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
and coke. Well, then what the fuck you stop for, dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap. You'll never have no security. You'll never be famous. You'll never know what it's like to be rich. Like the bitch, ain't it, Raymond? Here, let me break this shit down in layman's terms for you just to make sure that you can understand this. And cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you. Here, let me slow it down for you so that you can understand if I say it slower. Let it go, dog. It's over. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Uh-uh. No cap. No men have heart attacks. And I don't wanna be responsible <coughs> for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Talking about I have motherfuckers calling your crib. Bitch, you ain't even got a fucking crib. You ain't even got a fucking phone. Fucking bump. Threatening to shut you down at your little fucking you magazine if I come back when you and attack you. Bitch, you attack me first. Take it like a man. Shut the fuck up. Fuck your little magazine, too. I don't need your little fucking magazine. I got double XL's number anyway. And y'all can't stand it because they get bigger than y'all. Oh. And by the way, how'd I look on the VMAs? When you was watching me from whatever fucking TV you was watching me from in Boston. How I look? In the streets of Boston. Um. Fucking sissy. Then you got a scared up here, motherfucker. Suck our motherfucking dicks. Oh. And for those that don't know, don't get it twisted, yo. The source has a white owner. The source has a white owner. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, gang. Nah, nah, nah. This is crazy, bro. This is honestly ridiculous, bro. Nail in the coffin was honest. This is, bro. This is probably the best diss. This this the best diss against Benzino. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's my honest opinion, bro. Uh, nail in the coffin was crazy, bro. Thank y'all for spamming this under the comment section. Keezy gang asking me to do this reaction. I needed to get right. You know what I'm saying? I had to space it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had to give myself some time. Because if I did this, bro, honestly, it wasn't gonna end out right. It wasn't gonna end out right. You know what I'm saying? Shit was gonna be fucked up. I, I was going I was gonna break shit. You know what I'm saying, gang? So listen, y'all. All I'm gonna say, bro, is stay in tune, bro. You know we do this every day, Keezy Gang. We are on a streak and we're not messing our streak up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say stay safe, enjoy your day, stay in tune. I think I said that twice or maybe three times. I'm just gonna I'm just, my outros are ass. We're just gonna we're just gonna end it. All right. I'll catch y'all later. No cap.